Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you're new here. I feel like every time I post on TikTok that I posted a YouTube vlog, people are like, oh my god, you have a YouTube, you have a YouTube, you have a YouTube. Yes, I have a YouTube. I feel like I should probably promote it some more, but I just feel weird like plugging myself even though it's on my channels. I shouldn't be feeling weird about that. I just don't want to bug people because I know a lot of people don't like like long form content anymore. I don't know. But then like people that want to know about this don't know about this. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. We just got home. Jade is four months today, so we had her four month appointment and it was so freaking sad because <sighs> my brain i scheduled out her appointments for like the whole year because her doctor's office gets so freaking busy and i did them all at like 10 30 a.m not knowing that that would be like her schedule because now i have her like on a more schedule schedule and her nap time is between 10 30 and 11 so we were at her appointment and she was so freaking pissy she was so sleepy she just wanted to be in her crib napping and then they had to give her shots. So she was already crying and upset because she was sleepy and then they gave her the shot. Oh my God, I felt so freaking bad. So now she's sleeping. Looking like the cutest little princess that she is. And we are back home. Parker is at the office and the boys are at school. So it's just she and I. But we did stop at my PO box because it's over there by her doctor's office. And would this be a Desi vlog if I didn't open up packages in it at some point? No. So let's open up some packages. I feel like I have so much stuff to freaking talk about. That's like the good thing about like not vlogging so often is that I can come back on here and like feel like I just have so much to talk about with you guys. I basically just sit here and freaking talk the whole time. I feel like just so much has happened. I signed with a management company. I got into that like briefly on TikTok and when do I get ready to me? So a lot of people probably haven't seen that, but I signed with a management company like in the beginning of this month. And that has been like a really big change because I'm not in control of things. I mean, I am in control of things, but like I have help when usually I'm just like, I need to do everything. So that's been a big change. Okay, this is from L'Oreal Paris. Okay, it's a mascara. It's pretty cute and like this gold packaging. I don't wear mascara, obviously, my lashes, but I always just give this stuff to my nieces or my sisters. By the way, I started getting brown lashes. I don't think you're gonna be able to tell, but like, let me put this right here. Can you see that I started getting brown lashes? They kind of still look like black on the camera. Mm, not really, I don't know. If you know lashes, then you know these are brown. And I've been loving it. I was like really unsure because you guys know I freaking love my lashes, but I was kind of just like feeling like they were like a little too much for my face. Like I just wanted to look a little bit more natural, but then I took off my lashes and I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like I like the natural clean girl look, but I don't wear a lot of makeup. So like I need something and my lashes are that something. Bro, this camera's gonna die. Hopefully I have a charged battery. Pause. Okay, is this one charged? It says it's charged for now. Anyways, like I was saying, yeah, brown lashes. I've really, really been feeling them. This is from Crown Affair. I flippin' love Crown Affair. We're so excited to send you two of our most loved products for everyday hydration and protection, leave-in conditioner, and the oil. I use the leave-in conditioner every single day. Well, every time I wash my hair. This is it. Ooh, cute. A mini water bottle. It's glass. Jade's bottles are glass, which that's like a whole other thing. Oh my God, I feel like I seriously have so much to say. So you guys know how it's like breastfeeding? Yeah, we're done with that. I think today like actually might be the last day that I even pumped. Like my titties are small again. Oh my God, I'm so happy about it. I love having small boobs. Like you don't understand. I love not wearing bras. I love just being able to pop a pasty on and go about my life, especially in the summer. Yeah, I was trying to get Jade to take the bottle because she was only wanting boob and i was like this is not gonna happen so i was like pushing all these bottles we finally found a bottle that she liked it's the same brand as her pacifier the bibs and so she started drinking out of the bottle and i also wanted her to drink some formula because i never planned to breastfeed for the 12 months i really just wanted to do it through the winter months and homegirl does not want to latch anymore like she just like well it was really weird because like in the morning she was latching she was she had her breakfast like every boob and then by nap time like three hours later, she did not want to latch. And I was like, okay, she's really, she was kind of fussy. So I was like, maybe she just doesn't want to latch. So I gave her a bottle, she drank the bottle. I tried again before bedtime, she did not want to latch. So she was getting upset at me for trying to give her boobs. So I was like, okay, you know what? Mm. 
Mm -hmm, okay. And then I tried again the next day. She just did not want to let. She was like getting upset with me. And then I tried again at night because usually it's just so much easier to pull out your boob at night when they wake up. So she's still waking up every three hours at night and usually I would just pull out my boob and put it in her mouth. She would not take it even at 3 a.m. during her dream feed. So that's basically when they're still sleeping but they're eating. She was not trying to latch and so we had to get a bottle. And I was like, okay girl, do you. Like if you don't want any more boob, say less. So yeah. Um, and I still was pumping but because she wasn't latching it's been already like a week or two where she just like hasn't been latching that well um or she's been taking bottle until she hasn't been only breastfeeding i was doing breastfeeding and bottle my milk supply has dipped a whole lot so i'm not producing as much but this morning when i pumped i only got three ounces and usually did I say I only usually get three ounces? I usually get like three ounces on each side. This morning I only got three ounces, period, on both sides. This this side isn't producing anything, and it hasn't been for a minute. It's just a little friend. Like, nothing's coming out of here. This side was, this was giving the big stuff. Like, this has always been like my overachiever boob. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to pump anymore. Like, I think we're just done. Like, she really enjoys the formula. Oh, by the way, this is the conditioner. I think I'm going to do a giveaway because I have like three of these bottles. Um... And I want to do another giveaway of like all of my favorites because remember I did a giveaway with like my favorite skincare products and people loved that. So I think I might do that again. It's the end of our breastfeeding era. And I'd be lying if I said I was like upset about it because I'm not. Okay, this little bag came in here, but I think it's just a, like a little empty bag. Or what the heck is this? There's like these little... What is this? Oh, I think there's seeds. I might plant this. That's so cute. And then the oil, which I'm so flippin' excited for. I have not tried the oil yet. What time is it? Make sure I'm not like forgetting to get my kids. It's their 100th day of school, so we're about to go pick them up. And they're old men. It's so freaking funny. Cute. This is firming body serum and firming body cream. Do you guys think that that actually works? Because I've been wanting to firm up this belly. I've just been using coconut, no, not coconut, shea butter lotion, which really helped lighten up my belly. My belly was like so dark after I had Jade and it's lightened up so much. You know what's so crazy about breastfeeding too? A lot of people say, oh when you breastfeed like you lose so many calories that it helps you lose weight faster after the boys i lost so much weight so fast like i was like a little sickly like it was not it was not the move i did not like that after jade i've held on to so much weight which y'all might not see it because you don't see me naked but i see it like i look like obviously i look you know my body has gone down but i just have like extra skin that i've never had and my skin is very like stretchy already as it is but like like that you see this i never had that before and i'm not mad at it obviously because i just had a baby but it was really different for me because usually after i had babies like everything just like goes down because of breastfeeding my body was holding on to as much fat as it could to help me produce breast milk for her that I was not one of those that was like, breast milk makes you lose weight faster. It was like the opposite for me because since I've stopped breastfeeding so much now, like I'm not as bloated. My stomach has definitely gotten flatter. Like I can see myself like going back down. Whereas before I was like, what the fuck is happening? And honestly, like I like the weight that I'm at. If I could just like lose the little extra skin on my back, I'd be happy about that. But other than that, like, I'm pretty content with how I am. Stinnis hair. Ooh, I actually love this brand. Oh, no dry brush. But it's nice. I'll try that next time I have to wash my hair. Okay, this is from Amazon, but I ordered this myself. It's They're supposed to be, like, Lulu dupes. And... Um, actually this feels amazing. This could definitely be a dupe. The quality. Wow. I was a little sus at first, but this is kind of given. I ordered the pants too, but I don't know if those are here yet. Oh yeah. Wow. They're like butter. Yeah, this is so soft. I actually don't 
think I own any Lululemon. I think I own like one pair of leggings because something about paying almost $100 for leggings just really gets me. This feels so good. I think it's so funny that they put the tags right here because they're like, y'all not about to fuck around and order this and then return it. I changed out of that outfit because it's cute and I want to save it for another day. But I need to do laundry before I need to get the boys and pick up this house a little bit because it's looking a little cray cray. I hate laundry. I'm also gonna make myself a little coffee because now that I'm not breastfeeding, I don't feel guilty about having caffeine. Every time I post this Nespresso machine, people keep asking me what it is. It's like one of the OG ones. It's like one of the first ones. Well, I don't know if it's one of the first ones, but it, well, yeah, she said it's from the first line. She said that they still sell it, but they don't sell it like in store because they have like the new ones with like the really big pods and stuff like that. Back to what I was saying about like all the updates and stuff. I'm getting a tattoo removed in like two weeks, I think. I'm a little nervous, but also just so freaking excited. The one that I'm getting removed is this ugly ass infinity sign. I've had it for a long time. I've had it since I was 18 and the crazy thing is, is I've never even liked it. So the whole backstory behind it is my mom Wanted my sisters and I to get a matching tattoo with her and she's the one that like picked out the design So inside of the infinity sign that is supposed to be a heart But we quite literally went to somebody in his apartment like I This was so fucking crazy now that I think about it like as an adult I cannot believe I did this and then I even did it like with one of my parents and the fact that that was just like okay But whatever so I went into his apartment and he did all of our tattoos Well, my youngest sister didn't get it but my older sisters and my mom did because the youngest sister was like 15 So we went into his apartment he did our tattoos and he obviously fucked up on my tattoo because this is uh, it's supposed to be a heart, but it looks just like a little booger dot in the middle of my infinity sign And I've always hated it I've always tried to cover it up with like my bracelets or a watch or like if I'm about to do a video or something I hide it and I just ugh, I hate it and Besides just that like I don't have a relationship with my mom like some of you guys may know that some of you guys may not I've gone into that a little bit so like having this matching tattoo with her and like constantly seeing it and then I don't even like it on top of that like it'd be a little different if I really liked it and it was like oh you know this is like um, a matching tattoo with my mom and like blah 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 and my sisters but it's not like I don't like the tattoo. I'm not gonna say I don't like the person that I have the matching tattoo with but like it just I'm no contact with her so it's just I don't know. It's time to move on. So I found a place that moves tattoos and I booked it, which obviously it's gonna take time. Like it doesn't just go away with the first session. He said it could take six to 10 sessions, but I'm super excited to just like get started with that. And then I'm also going to get another tattoo for Jade, which I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like my last tattoo because I'm like kind of tattooed out. I have this one for Brian, which is his birthday. I got this right after I had him. I was like 18 or... Maybe I was still 17 because I think I was underage because again, this was at somebody's house, but he was at least like a professional. He had like a studio in his house. This guy, the other guy, like this guy, we went into his freaking room. So this guy, I still really love this tattoo. This is Brian's birthday. And then right before I found out I was pregnant with Jade, I got this tattoo. Obviously it says Oliver. So obviously for my last tattoo, I have to get something for my baby child. Like she is my princess. So I'm gonna get like the smallest little tattoo for her. I'm not sure what officially I'm gonna get, but I'm thinking right here. So she was born in 2023 and the animal for 2023 is a rabbit. So I was thinking about getting like an outline of a tiny, tiny little rabbit right here. Or I was thinking about just getting a tiny little J. Or I was thinking about getting the flower of October, but I only want to get either the bunny or the flower if he can do them like Super super tiny like right here because I know he can do a J really tiny for Jade And I think I'm gonna get that in March So we just like have to because part it was one of my Christmas presents from Parker He like messaged him and stuff, but obviously I was still breastfeeding. I wasn't gonna do a lot of breastfeeding But now that I'm not we're gonna book that probably for like March 
bro, this is so good. So that's really exciting. I think that might be like my last tattoo because I just don't know where else I would put tattoos. Like I know it's trending right now to have like little spots of tattoos all over your body and that's really cute on some people. Like it definitely like, matches their vibe, but that's not my vibe to just like have a whole bunch of tattoos like spread out on me. I was thinking about like extending this a little bit, but I just don't give a shit enough anymore to do that. So I'm not having any more babies. I think this might be like my last I do. My sister was gonna come over tonight because my niece's birthday party is this month. We're gonna practice like baking, but I asked what she wanted to do and she only wants to do cake pop and Rice Krispie treats. And I know how to make those. So we don't really need to get like the supplies twice and practice that because I already know how to make that. These Desi shades are so flipping cute. I love them. I'm getting the boys. And if you watched my vlogs like last year, um, you would, like know that when I used to get brown I used to have to like get there an hour early because I would have to get out of the car and walk to the freaking school it was so annoying when it was raining when it was cold it just like uh, it sucks so bad now I'm in the mother sucking carpool line it is amazing not having to get out of the car and at this school like a lot of people don't um do carpool a lot of them like walk to get their kids because we live like in an actual neighborhood now we don't live in like the city so the line just isn't even that long plus they like are very organized with it they have like kinder and then they have like first through the older kids on one side so i just get all over and then i basically get to cut all the other grades to get brian it's really nice can you say hi to your mom Hello. she don't wake up jane because she doesn't feel good she got shots today with bandits on her legs how was your day okay. tell me what happened Cupcakes. Did everybody love your costume? Yes. Did a lot of people dress up? We had reading buddies. We had candy. You had candy. Yes. And we had a pizza party. <gasps> what? For lunch? Or just pizza party? Oh, actually, I ate in the library. Whoa. And the you shouldn't have came. No one invited me. Mom, you shouldn't ask. I, I don't think it was her parents, baby. James' mom came. She works at the school. Oh, how? If my <laughs> would have invited me, I would have gone. How about you? Yeah, I put it on my hand. Okay. Whoa, it's Dr. Seuss. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, you don't get that everywhere. Look at old man number two. Ugh. Hello. Whoa. Why are you like so antsy right now? Don't be to hurry up because the car's are moving. <laughs> Hello, it is the next morning. I'm headed into Pilates. Well, I'm headed there. I'm, I haven't left the house yet, but I'm headed to Pilates. I had a meeting with my management team this morning that went very well, so that's exciting. And now we go to Pilates. I'm still going to, oh my flipping God. There's no gas in here. <sighs> Bro. So I recently just got my first credit card. Like this is, I feel like, I don't know. Like I'm almost 30 years old. I probably should have had credit cards by now, but I didn't. But I'm trying to build my credit. You know, I'm trying to get a house. I'm trying to do all these things. And so I needed to get a credit card to like help that. And for some reason, I'm just so anxious and terrified to use it. And this is probably why. I've had it for like a month now and I haven't used it. And it's like obviously not like a big balance because it's my first credit card. If you know anything about credit cards, it's like, you know, I just I just need to use it and pay it off, whatever. But I've just been so anxious about it. Something about credit cards and something about having debt. Like, I don't want to have debt. And I know I won't have debt because I just need to pay it off. But like, the thought of having debt is so terrifying to me. So I haven't used my credit card. And I just tried to use it. Parker's like, oh, use your credit card like for the first time on gas. Because everybody's like, just use your credit card for gas. And like, paid it off immediately but I don't ever pump my gas so that doesn't really work Parker usually does this so the one time I'm doing my gas I put the credit card in and it's like can you see the cashier no I cannot see the cashier so immediately we're not using the credit card so yeah that was my attempt of trying to use the credit card but that did not work so we use Parker's <laughs> But she's gonna eat them? Yep. But mom, she can't eat it. She can eat milk. She her doctor said we should give her some eggs. Why? 
<laughs> no, it's too hot, so we have to let it cool down. I'm just gonna try it because her doctor doesn't want her to be allergic to it. Oh no. She's gonna mush it around. Hello, guys. I'm gonna look at my haggard, but. It's been rough. Jade's deep into her four month sleep regression and oh my god, like the boys didn't, ex I didn't experience this with the boys, so this is new to me, even though she's my third baby. She's literally up like every hour and a half, every two hours. It's kind of flipping crazy. And she's up and we're making her bottles, thinking like, oh, maybe if we just give her a bottle, she'll go back to bed. She's not even drinking like one ounce. Like she's taking it one sip of the bottle and then she's going back to bed. She's just waking up so much. And she's actually up right now from her nap. That's why I'm up out of bed. I was like relaxing. She took like a 40 minute nap, so that was nice. But yeah, it's been like a week of this and, or maybe like two weeks, I don't know. But I hope this doesn't last the whole four months because that would be wild. Siri, pause. Also, don't come for me about the blanket. She will not sleep without this. Like, I've tried, trust me. I try and practice safe sleeping, but Miss Girl will not sleep without a blankie. Hi, mamas. And she has this, which will monitor her breathing, and she has an owlette sock, which tells me her breathing. She's good. Hi. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Your nap. Say hi. Hello, pretty girl. They say when your baby's having like a sleep regression, it's because they're learning something new. And part of me feels like that might be a little bit true because she has like this week just started doing so many more things. One of them gripping onto my freaking hair, like death gripping. Ow. I'm already balding, stop. But she's also like grabbing things. Like when I lay her down to play with her toys, she's like playing with the toys before she kind of just would stare at them. Now she's going in on grabbing the toys. She's trying to hold her bottle. She's just doing all the new things this week. And so that's why she doesn't want to sleep. You guys think we look alike? You don't have to tell me, I already know we do. <laughs> guys, I've started vlogging like five times this week. So I'm just going to end the vlog. Well, I'm gonna open up a few packages and then I'm gonna end this vlog so that I can edit it because I'm about to put her down for a nap. It's just like so hard for me to vlog this week for some reason. I thought it was gonna be easier because I had a lot of stuff going on and so I was like, oh, I can vlog. But really it's just harder because I'm so busy. Yesterday I wanted to vlog her getting her ears pierced and I was rushing because I like got the times mixed up so I was rushing to get out of here and I freaking left the camera on the counter. So I vlogged it for TikTok like just a little bit like I just did it like a little short clip of it. But little Miss Jade got her ears pierced. Look how cute. They had like a whole bunch of different options but I don't plan on changing these for a long time so I just decided to get a little diamond. My sisters and I are all allergic to like fake jewelry and so I also didn't want to risk getting her like I think it's like steel or something like that. I just wanted to get her gold and make sure that she wasn't gonna have a reaction to it. But yeah she's looking so cute and she did so good. Obviously she cried like what baby doesn't cry when they get their ears pierced. It's just like a huge shock to them. She stopped really quick. She actually stopped crying faster with her ear piercings than she did with her vaccines. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my packages. Y'all can watch her for me while I'm gone. Okay, this one's from Old Navy, and it's all for Jade. I got her some little summer outfits. There's this one. How cute. 
And then the same outfit, but oh wait, no, this is not the same outfit. <laughs> this is a romper. Okay, this is the same romper, but like with this cute like neon colored print. And then the same one in this brown. You know that sound on TikTok that it's like, if I like it, I'm just gonna get a different color. If that sound was a person, that sound would be me. And then this romper, look how cute these little ties are. If you've been following me for a minute, then you probably know that like, I'm really big on keeping my kids comfortable and just like soft matching sets. I don't really buy jeans and stuff unless we have like pictures or it's a holiday. Okay, this is the same as the first set, but it's pink. Um, I don't think I ordered this, but yeah, I definitely didn't order this. They sent this. <laughs> I hope I didn't order that. Because it's 3 d that's not going to fit any of my kids. And then last from Old Navy, this one's my favorite. Look how flipping cute this is. And then we got some stuff from the Zara sale. You all know I love me a Zara sale. All of this isn't going to fit her until like next winter. But the prices were just too good not to get them. We have this pullover with Princess Tiana. We have this other pullover. And then on the back, it's like this metallic silver, so cute. I'm gonna dress her exactly how I dress, which is just like in pullovers and leggings. And then I got this pullover, and then this little cute pullover, because it has these matching flare pants. <laughs> and then I got this for next October. It's like a Minnie and Mickey um, pullover for Halloween. And this dress, this is like totally my vibe for like holiday photos, so I was thinking, she could potentially wear this for like either holiday photos or for Thanksgiving next year. <laughs> Again, you guys probably think I'm so crazy buying a year in advance, but that's usually how I get like all of my kids clothes. Like whenever summer hits, I'll probably go to like Target and just get like some cheap little shorts and stuff. But usually I shop like seasons ahead for them. And then this one, I thought the same thing. Like she could wear this for Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever, potentially some holiday photos. Imagine how cute this is gonna be with some jeans. <laughs> Oh, bless you. And then these, oh my goodness. Look at the little pants. These are so cute. These are 12 months. Like just imagine a little baby walking around with these with like some little potato shoes. And then I got these. These will actually fit her this summer, like here soon. Another Princess Tiana shirt for next winter. And I got it with these matching sweats. They didn't come together, but I thought the pinks matched really good. And then I got these little sweats too. That's that. And that's it. We're gonna end this vlog because I'm gonna go put her for a nap and then I'm gonna try and edit this while she's napping. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Say bye, mama. Say bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.